up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Match Malone. And thank you all so much for eight freaking hundred subscriptions in three and a half months. That is really cool to me. I'm so grateful. I couldn't be more grateful. So thank you all also for tuning in in yesterday's live stream. It was very nice. I had a lot of fun with all of you. It was just sweet. Finally being done with exams not having any essay to write, just connecting with the community that I've built over the last three and a half months, getting to know you guys, it was really freaking sweet. And now we're even on a road to nine freaking hundred. It becomes a hundred more every two weeks. That is just insanity, freaking insanity. So thank you all very freaking much from the bottom of my heart. I'm very grateful. But enough yammering, let's get into the hammering. Today's deck is called Despair is My Game. And yes, even though the E is missing, when I hover over it, you can see it for a second. So trust me, it is the name. So somebody asked me if I could build an Ashiok Valky Tibble deck. And I said, yes, yes, I can. I love those cards. I freaking love Ashiok since the day that I seen it in War of the Sparks. I freaking loved Ashiok or it, whatever, them. So, there you go. Right pronoun, I know them. I know them. Uh, so, this is a very fun deck. It will put desperation into your opponents. And yes, I did this before and now I'm here to redo this part of the video because I have been playing a very well-known streamer. And uh, yeah, as you can already tell in the title, because I will absolutely put it in there, it was Alias V. How did the game go? We don't know, but it was a very fun game and I was super excited. And you can see I'm still super excited to have played her. It was so freaking sweet. She is a big inspiration. She is such a big personality in the whole MTG Arena community. So I was very freaking excited to encounter her. Afterwards, I jumped on the stream just to realize that it was absolutely her. So freaking cool. You can see, I'm still so excited. But as I said, enough yammering. Let's get into the hammering. Despair is the name. Despair is the game. So we have the Ashiok here. You know them. Create a 2-3 blue black nightmare creature token that whenever it attacks, it exiles the top two cards of your opponent's library. Then you may return something to their hand with minus three and the minus seven is so freaking sweet, especially if they're playing cards that they're exiling themselves like the Aaron's Epiphany or uh, one of the uh, ultimatums. If you're playing up against a person that plays ultimatums, when you use the minus seven, you are able to use their ultimatums with the minus seven. A very freaking nice interaction. So this is the bad boy from before and then we have some bad boys and girls from the new set. We have the Valky. So his, uh, his front side is a creature. You take a look at your opponent's hand, get one of the creatures under the Valky and then you may turn into that creature. It is more a uh, look at your opponent's hand, get a feel of what they're playing, prepare yourself for the game. But uh, yeah, you especially want to play the other side, the Tybalt. And oh my lord, I freaking love the Tybalt. He is so sweet. So, when he enters the battlefield, you get an emblem that you may play cards exiled with Tybalt and spend mana as though it was mana of any freaking color. So, you know the style. Then for, to uh, for plus two loyalty, you can exile the top cards of each player's library, so yours and theirs, and then you are able to play them for the rest of the game. With minus three, you can take care of an artifact or a creature, be able to play them for the rest of the game, and with minus eight, you exile all cards from all graveyard and add three red, so you will be able to play them for the rest of the game. I think the plus two ability is just so freaking sweet. Stealing something from your opponent is so much fun and brings so much despair into their life. And then we have the Turgrid. The first deck that I've ever built... Oh, I'm a lantern. The first deck that I've ever built in Kaldheim was a Turgrid Doom Foretold deck. And it is just so much fun. So here she is, the God of Fright. Whenever an opponent sacrifices a non-token permanent or discards a permanent card, you can put that card on the battlefield under your control. So that is why we have a lot of sacrifice and discard effects in here. Well, not a lot, but we have some in here, which is working really freaking well with the Turgrid. Also, very nice interaction if you're going up against a Croxa deck and they uh, play the Croxa, need to sacrifice this, you will also get the trigger. So you will put the Croxa onto your side of the field. It will get sacked immediately, but they will need to discard the card. And if they discard the permanent, 
you get that permanent for yourself. Mwah! Delicious! Freaking delicious! Then the lantern, also pretty nice. If you have the turret grid out and the lantern, you can use the lantern, you tap it and target player chooses if he wants to lose 3 life, if he wants to sacrifice a non-land permanent or discard a card. So if you have both of them on the field, they work very freaking well together. I just freaking love it. So what else do we have in here? We also have the Skull Raids. And this is just such a nice card. You can foretell it and later pay it for 2 or you keep it in your hand and pay 4 for it. And the target opponent discards 2 cards. And for each card that is less than two, you draw a card. So if they only have one card, they discard this card and you draw a card. If they have zero cards, this is a two card draw for four. So that is still pretty A-OK. -okay. Can come in pretty clutch if you're in top deck wars. So think about it. But yeah, as you can see, they discard something. You will get it with the Turgrid. And there's nothing sweeter than your opponent discarding, I don't know, an Ugin maybe? Stealing the Ugin? Oh, mmm. Such a nice interaction. Then we have the Soul Shatter. Each opponent sacrifices a creature or a planeswalker with the highest converted mana cost. And you get it with the Turgrid. So that is so freaking sweet. So, these three together are like our win conditions. Putting the Despair into your opponent and the rest of it is just hardcore control. And the Midnight Clock. You know me, I love the Midnight Clock. And uh, yeah, maybe we can get everything back sooner or later. Draw so many cards. It would be so sweet. Would be so freaking sweet. Then, the hardcore control part is of course, first draw. We have four Frantic Inventory. I thought about putting some Behold the Multiverse in here, but I think it is just a little too slow. For four mana, yes, you get the Scry, but with this, you can maybe even draw four cards in the endgame. And that is just so much more valuable. So I think the Frantic Inventory is just a little bit stronger than the Behold the Multiverse in this case. Then we have four Heartless Acts to remove creatures. We have three Thrown in the Lock to counter and remove creatures. And with the discard and everything, we will fill their graveyard really quick. So that's pretty nice. Then we have three Side Comic. You can also foretell this Blade for two later. But uh, if you don't have the mana, just keep it up. It is pretty good. Also, the good part about the foretell part is that you only need one blue. So if you only have one blue, there you go. There you go. Then we have two extinction events because it is just a good card. It is just a good card. If you're going up against Mono White and they're playing the uh, two mana three one that gets indestructible when they discard a card. I forgot his freaking name. I'm still so excited. But you know the one I'm talking about. You can just exile it. Easy as pie. Get rid of it. Then we have two blood in the snow. And this is also so freaking sweet. You can destroy either all creatures or all planeswalkers. And then you may return a creature or planeswalker with converted mana cost X or less from the graveyard to the battlefield where X is the amount of snow mana spent. And that is why sadly today we're not playing beautiful Bob Ross lands. But beautiful snow lands. That is still pretty sweet. So, no beautiful Bob Ross lands today, but beautiful snow-covered islands, swamps and a mountain. So this is the deck, the mana base is 5. Beautiful snow-covered islands, 8 beautiful snow-covered swamps. We have one snow-covered mountain because we only need it for the Valky, so uh, yeah, or for the Tybalt to be specific. Then we have 4 Merc Water Clear Water Pathway. One River Glide Lava Glide Pathway and one Blightstead Seer Step Pathway. As I said, we don't need too many red, only one. So if you have your Fabled Passage out, make sure to, uh, yeah, use it for the red mana. It is pretty powerful. So, this is the deck. Despair is the game. I will have a lot of fun. I know it. So, and I will see you all in those Despair games. All right, yeah, it's going to be weird not to have those beautiful Bob Ross lands. But uh, snow is all right. I mean, it's getting so warm, I'm wearing nothing but a t-shirt today. I was outside with nothing but a shirt and it was freaking awesome. The opponent goes first, but we have, we have answers. We have answers. So I think I will be playing this as a lantern first, but we will see. Let us see what the opponent does here. He mulligans. Don't mulligan two more times, or I know that you are playing. Oh my lord. This, yep, yep. This looks absolutely like a Tibble's Trickery deck. Okay. So as we have nothing to do, let's get our only red source here. 
Why shouldn't we, after all? We deserve a red source, and here comes the trickery. Yep, isn't it sweet? Nice. Good thing that we have the frickin' Soul Shatter. So no matter what he has here, we have a pretty good answer. We have a pretty good answer. Oh my lord. Yep, well, at least we can take care of that with the Heartless Act as well. So we don't even have to wait. And here you go. This will be turn one. Victory. I don't think he has another combo in hand. Honestly, don't think he does. And we will use the Valky next, just to see if he has any creatures in hand. And if he does, we will steal those creatures. Like there is no freaking too much. He has another... Okay, okay. I just thought, okay. This would have been crazy. Would have been freaking crazy. So, do we think that he has another creature in hand? Honestly, I don't. Honestly, I don't. So, because I think otherwise he wouldn't have played the Stone Coiled Serpent here. And, uh, yeah. I think we can just uh, wait. If he doesn't play anything here, we will use the Scar Raid. Okay, he snacks in for three. That is still fine. That is still absolutely fine. Let's keep the Soul Shatter for, uh, soul shatter for now. And uh, then we get the... Hmm... Interesting question here. Well, you know what? I want to look at his hand. I want to see what he's packing. If he has a big boy creature, he has an Ugin. Interesting. So I think he will be playing one more land here. We can sack the Valky here. No, no worries. Just no worries. If we find another land, would be pretty freaking sweet. And if we don't, I will still play the Scar Raid. So yeah, we block here. No need and not to. We take one measly damage. Okay, this is freaking perfect. This is just a freaking a perfect. So we get the Tagrid out. Because we want to be mean. We want to be absolute despair. He's still fighting like a real champion. I respect that. I gotta be honest. I freaking respect that. So, uh, yeah. We, uh... Make him discard here. Because I think even if it's just a Tormod script, whatever he discards here, we get in our hand. So that is pretty sweet. Oh, we get an Ugin. We get a freaking Ugin. Oh, thank you so much. I love you, opponent. I freaking love you. I love you so much, Asatu. Thank you for the Ugin. Uvu. I really freaking love you for it. All right, so time to get even more desperation on the battlefield. We make him lose some life here. We still have the Soul Shatter open, so even if he has an... Um... Oh my lord, yep. He's digging, he's digging real hard for another uh, Tibble's Trickery. And even if he gets it here... Next turn, we will get 7 life back. We have the Soul Shatter in instant speed, so... Bring it, bro. Bring it. Don't even care about it. You s just threw away two Genesis Ultimatums, and whatever you're using here, it will be mine. It will be freaking mine. Come on, be something good. Oh, oh, oh. Tibble's Trickery, everybody, giving you free Ugin since 2021. Oh, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you so much. Those stupid Tibble's Trickery decks. I mean, come on. Just get them. Get them out of here. They're so glass cannony. And even if you would have had something, we had the perfect answer. It was just insane. Why did he... He shouldn't have gambled. He shouldn't have gambled on the Tibble's trickery getting into his hand. That was maybe just a little too much. Ukitabi. 
So, the opponent goes first. So we have a little slow hand here. I mean, we do have the skull raid. But is it just a little too slow for everything? With the drown in the lock. But we have all the colors we need. You know what? I'm going to be cheeky. I'm going to be freaking cheeky. Pet the bear. People always like when I pet the bear, so I will be doing it. Oh, the midnight clock. Pretty sweet. So next turn we will use the Sky Raid and Foretell. And then we will be... Oh, oh that is bad. Kinda bad. But we get our only red source here, as per usual. And we found another land. Okay. But with this, well, we're pretty well equipped to get rid of whatever he has. So I'm not even too worried here. Eh, just a little bit. So next turn, sadly, no Midnight Clock for us. But we still have to drown in the lock. And whatever he plays with the Scar Raids and everything, we will be able... Oh, he's ramping. He's ramping. That is sweet. And now we even have the Soul Shatter. So yeah, let's get rid of two of his cards here. Make him despair. Because despair is my name. Let us see what he discards here. Okay, another land. So now we have an answer for the Destiny Spinner. And we have the Calyx 2 Soul Shatter here. So that is pretty sweet. Pretty a freaking sweet. Alright. So, I will foretell another Skull Raid here. Oh, I can't if I want to get rid of the Calyx. But do I really want to here? I could Midnight Clock foretell it. I mean, what could he get that really annoys us? A lot. A lot. That much I can tell. So... But I think when we play the Midnight Clock here, we still have to drown in the lock, so we can still uh, still get rid of his Destiny Spinner. And ramping is never bad. And I think we're not in such a hurry that we really need to get rid of him here. And next turn we can just do both. Oh, we didn't find anything. Isn't it sad? Isn't it just so sad? Come on, play something here. Yeah, you want to play something. You want to play something. I know it. I know it. Yep, okay. Well, I wouldn't have countered that anyways. And a banishing freaking light. Alright, that is mean. That is just mean. In that case, let's get rid of your freaking destiny spinner. And now we get rid of his... Uh, well, that was kind of very mean. Very freaking mean. Alright. How are we doing this? So I think uh, he has now three in his graveyard. So whatever he plays, I think before he even can do anything, I just uh, get rid of his Calyx. Yeah, 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 I could have done it in, my, in his turn, but I just don't want him to have it. I want him to feel the freaking despair. And now we have a counter spell, and I hope that we can target something with it. Hmm. Yeah, that is pretty a-okay to me. Because I can just return the human to his hand with the Ashiok and uh, make him discard something. Oh, and now we even got the Valky. So, no more freaking uh, cards for you, my friend. There is nothing you can do here. You put three counters on nothing. Oh, yeah, you would have liked that, wouldn't you? You're such a bad girl. You would have loved that. All right. That is still pretty A-OK -okay to me. Still pretty A-OK -okay at two bay. So we're on six here. All we need is one more land. So let's draw two cards. And then we still have the Drowning Lock open. And when we find one more land... Oh, okay. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. So even if he attacks in here... Don't really care. Or do I? Well, I don't want him to draw cards. So uh, let's not do it. I don't want him to have... And he, and he just surrenders. The this pair is so real, so freaking real. Oh, diamond tier two, baby. 
Yes, with the freaking Grixis desperation. Mmm, mmm. All right, the despair was real. <laughs> I love this pair. If it's for the opponent, how do you like my shirt? It's pretty lit, isn't it? Okay, so. Can we make more people this pair? I really freaking hope so. Would be so sweet. With the Bibble Bib. Alias V. Oh, sweet. I think that is uh, like the streamer, right? <gasps> and we're going first against Alias V. Oh man, I really hope that I can find one more land. If we find one more land, we're kind of golden. We are kind of golden. So let's go for the blue here. Hello. Nice. I really hope that this is Alias V and that I'm live on her stream. Would be so sweet. Okay. The Gilded Goose. Thanks. Oh yeah, because I said nice. Yeah, right, right. So yeah. Let's hope that we aren't getting mana screwed here. I really freaking hope so. A beanstalk giant. All right. So we're not uh, looking for a land here because I really hope that we can find a land on top. But this hand was too nice to throw away. Okay. Didn't find a land. Oops. All right. Let's let's show her that we didn't find a land while well, she is on four lands here. Five lands. Okay. But we need to find a freaking land here. Really need to find a freaking land. Come on. Oh, thank you, game. Thank you so much. Thank you so freaking much. So, we still have the extinction event and stuff like that, so I'm uh, not too afraid here. Just a little bit. A cultivate. Okay. So I will be to playing all the colors, it seems, eh? Playing all the freaking colors, it seems. Interesting. Freaking interesting. Let's get a snow-covered swamp here. And now we found another land. Pretty sweet. Pretty, uh, pretty sweet. Okay, so if I play my Midnight Clock here, I sadly can't be playing... Or do I? Nope, I can't. I can't be playing the side coming, and I really think that I want to play the side coming here. I really think that I want to keep it up. Oh, this is exciting. Going up against Alias V. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, Tybalt. No, you don't. No, you freaking don't. Don't have a counter spell. Don't you dare having... Oh, thank God. Thank a freaking God. Aw, she didn't attack with the goose. Why didn't she attack with the goose? Would have been so sweet. So... Hmm... I think it is time to play the Midnight Clock because we're missing out on mana. And having a look at our hand. I'm just assuming this is Alias V, the streamer. So, I'm pretty stoked to play her. Pretty freaking stoked to play her. Okay, this needs to go. This absolutely needs to go. All right. So next turn, if she plays the uh, Raven's Warning, we can just return it to her hand with the uh, with the Ashiok. So that is pretty sweet. That indeed is pretty sweet. So we will return the Raven to her hand. Rampant like a real champion. Okay. So I think having oh oh that is uh, that is kind of annoying. That is a uh, kind of annoying. Hmm, what do I do here? Do I get rid of it? Okay. Hmm. Well, I think I kind of just play uh, play the Turgrid here. Do nothing. I mean, Turgrid is odd, so even if we do it here, we can uh, we can still do some stuff. So drawing some cards, but we have the Scar Raid. 
So hopefully we can do some shenanigans here. Hopefully we can do some nice shenanigans here. We will see. Drawing some cards, we have the scar rate, but we're a little, a little bad on mana here. Just a little bad on mana. But let us see what happens next. A beanstalk giant could be what happens next. I would uh, not like that a lot. But we're still going up against Alias V. That is so sweet. I freaking enjoy it. One of the best players in the world. And I got to play her. Mmm. Mmm. So honored. So freaking honored. The Doom Scar. Oh, come on. The Doom Scar is kind of annoying here. But this is only four, so she can't be playing the three ge uh, god here. And we still have the Scar Raid. So let's do that, right? Let's just Scar Raid away. Get rid of this big old threat here. She's playing it like this, okay. Okay. So in that case... We can't put down the Ashiok and keep our side coming open. But we are on 6 mana, so I can uh, foretell this. I can foretell this. And still have the side coming open and the drown in the lock. So uh, yeah, that is still A-OK. -okay. So this is odd. This is also odd. Okay. So ramping like a real champion here, and we are not. We are not ramping like a real champion. I really hate that. We'll be getting rid of my li uh, graveyard here. The art on the Raven's Warning is just so freaking sweet. No matter if I win or lose here, this, ladies and gentlemen, is freaking nice content. Matches Malone versus Alias V. Mmm. Mmm. So sweet. That means I can tag her in my Twitter. And say, hey, I played you. Good game. You won. I lost. Well, we will see who won. We will see who lost. But will there be a beanstalk giant here? Will there be a beanstalk giant? There will be a beanstalk giant. Alright. I don't think she has a fling. I honestly don't think she has a fling. And I think the side coming... Can be put to better use than this. Alright, hit me with one. I don't care about that. So. What will be happening here? Nothing else happens. Okay, that is kind of okay. Getting another land, not even too bad. So now we'll be using the extinction event here. And still keep my side coming open. And if there comes a beanstalk giant, I can get rid of it. And soon I will draw so many cards with the midnight clock, so I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, will there be another giant? The Ashiok's Nightmare Muse. That indeed is something that I need to counter. Don't have a counter spell yourself. Don't you dare. Don't you have it. Don't you. She did! She did have it! Oh, darn it. Well, that is still pretty a-okay. <coughs> we still can take care of that. We still can take care of that. So, not the biggest problem here. Indeed, not the biggest problem. The Gilded Goose. Alright. All freaking right. So, this is also pretty sweet. So, we play our own Ashiok here. Return her Ashiok to her hand, make it exile. So I'm pretty fine with that. I could be drawing cards here, but I think I just want to keep my Drown in the lock here to get rid of something, maybe even the Nightmare. Maybe even the freaking Nightmare. Alright, what are we losing? Lance and the Blood on the Snow. Okay, that's not even too bad. So we destroyed a nightmare here. I value my Ashiok a lot. 
a freaking lot. And with the extinction event, oh, really? Another side coming right off the top? Oh, that is just freaking mean. That is just so mean. Okay, and now we found our side coming. So, we kind of need to take care of the beanstalk giant here. Sad, but freaking true. And then we chill. I think taking two here from the nightmare is not the worst that could happen. Oh, do you play gods? Don't tell me that you will be playing all the gods now. Could be. Could be. We're losing two more cards here. Those weren't too bad in this situation. Not even worried. Not even freaking worried. But this makes me worry. Alright, this is looking pretty A-OK -okay here. We will be drawing a lot of cards now and still have the Sky Raid to go. Oh, I freaking love it. Yes, give me all of those sweet cards. Give me all of them. Yes, yes. A lot of lands, but that is still fine. So let's scar right here. I don't want to see whatever is in your hand. It was a land. Okay. So. What can we do here? I think we chill. I think we chill. We still have a side coming. We still have a heartless act. And I think uh, the blight step pathway can go. Having a snow covered land is way more important here if we find our board wipe. Alright. Should have killed it before attacks. But we lost two lands. That was pretty good. That was a pretty freaking good to lose two lands here. So thank you very much. Thank you very freaking much. And no matter what you have here. I will draw cards. So I'm very interested in what you have in your hand. Very freaking interested. So this costs five. So I think we prepare the ultimate sky raid here and keep our uh, counter spell open. Just keep it open. Could have foretold the side coming as well, but uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe I can use the frantic inventory. We will see. We will see. Making herself some life, it seems. She doesn't. Okay. This is so freaking cool. Yeah, the cultivate is fine with me. Get those lands out. Get those freaking lands out. Pass two attacks. Playing nothing. I feel so blessed to play against Alias V. I hope that it is her. I really hope it is her. Would be so freaking cool. Would be so freaking cool. I bet she's streaming right now and people are seeing this and I'm like, hey, I know you, I played you. All right, this is pretty freaking sweet. So we put down the Turgrid here and if she has another counter spell in hand, she does not. Does not have the counter spell. But let us see what it is in her hand. That she was afraid to play. A land. A land. Yeah, I want that land. I freaking want it. So she needs a very good answer here. Next turn we have our own Valky. Let's just hope she didn't find a freaking good answer here. Okay. So even if she draws two cards here, I'm fine with that. I'm freaking fine with that. So we're on nine, so I can afford to be playing uh, the Tybalt here and still have my counter spell open. Yes, yes, the despair is here. Yak, 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 yak. All right, so we get a planes on the field or do we put the Fabled Passage? I think it is the Fabled Passage. Just to be sure that we can play whatever we need to. Alright. So let's crack the passage. Get ourselves another snow-covered island. At least I hope that we have one. Yes, yes, we do. We do have another snow-covered island. So I want to keep the Sky Raid open. I think she will draw two cards here. Create a bear token. Which is fine with me. In the worst case... Yes, I want that. 
I freaking want that. Thank you so much. So dealing two damage to me here. That's not even the worst. But I want to keep my counter spells open just in freaking case. Another cultivate. That is still fine with me. We have another scar rate, so if she can't play too much here, we're kind of okay. The gilded goose, that is also fine with me. Create that food. Create that freaking food. And the Kaya. Well, good thing we have the drought in the lock. And we will freaking use it. Yes, yes, we have all the counter spells. Oh man! I am in super thinking mode. And I freaking love it. I freaking love it. Alright, let's see what we can steal here. Hopefully something sweet. Another Kaya. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Good game. Good game. Yes. Yes. Oh, baby. Come on. Let's get in there. We freaking beat Alias V. Oh, baby. So sweet. So freaking sweet. So I just jumped real quick on Alias's uh, Twitch and confirmed we were playing her. Insane, and we won! That is so cool! I am so glad! And we're up against... Oh, Yorian is fine. Yorian is fine, especially with the Scar Raid and the Valky. We can have a look if he's playing the um, Ultimatum deck. So yeah, I will totally keep this hand. But I think I won't be playing. So my plan right now is uh, play these two. The Scar Raid. Foretell the Scar Raid. Yeah, we will see, we will see. But this is looking pretty okay. Okay, we found another land. That is pretty nice. And he is indeed. Oh, well, he could... Yeah, I think he's playing the uh, Emergent Ultimatum deck. Why shouldn't he? So yeah, I just jumped real quick on Alias V's uh, Twitch to confirm that it was her. And it was pretty dope. She was pretty cool about it. She, was, uh, she even told me to send her the link. So she may be watching my video. That's going to be awesome. That is going to be awesome. Having someone of her great greatness. I'm just... Oh, I'm still stoked. I'm still so freaking stoked. So, Blueberry. Will you be doing the, uh, the ramping now? Will you be doing the pooping? We will see. Let's get into this game. Okay, the bear is not on black. We need the bear to be a nightmare bear. And holy smokes, this bear looks so freaking cool. Okay, gets the Orion in hand. That is absolutely fine with me. So we have the Soul Shatter, so we can be smart about it. But I think I just want him to lose some cards here. Or do I? Well, I think he will have like an answer for the Valky, so throwing it out there does not really feel good. So let's just make him discard some cards. Why the heck not? Why the freaking heck not? He didn't have the ramping, so that is also pretty good. And he will make some tough choices here. And we will get a look at what he had in hand. So just a little. Okay. Two freaking kill spells. A gun. So maybe I could be playing the Valky now. But we will see. We will see. The Elspeth's Nightmare. Yeah, that is totally fine with me. There is not too much that you can get rid of here. And now we have the Frantic Inventory. And that is pretty good. Alright, what are you taking care of? Maybe the Frantic Inventory? But that will just make our next Frantic Inventory so much better. So I think it's going to be the Soul Shatter or the Heartless Act. Yep, because he doesn't want to lose his creatures. So, I'm totally fine with that. Oh, it was the Frantic Inventory. Interesting. Pretty interesting. Alright, so gets the uh, Yorian on board. We will remove that. We will remove that 100%. Let's crack the passage now. Let's get ourselves a red. No need to wait here. 
Because hopefully we will just thin out our deck a little bit. So I think next will be the Soul Shatter. Oh, the Extinction Event is also pretty nice draw here. So let's chill for now. See what he does. I think it's going to be the Soul Shatter or the Extinction Event, one of those. But the Soul Shatter might be a big problem for him, so I think that he wants to get rid of it. Yep, because that can take care of Planeswalker, so yeah. Why shouldn't he? He has now perfect information about our hand. Okay, I think that this is the... Uh, can't even play it, yep. Take two turns after this one. Alright, we found another Soul Shatter, so that is pretty sweet. But let's get a look at his hand here. Let's just have a look at his hand. Okay. Okay, so here comes either the uh, Binding of the Old Gods. Getting rid of our graveyard here is a little annoying, as we're kind of trying to get it back sooner or later. But it is still fine. Didn't find a land, so he will be using his uh, Epiphany here. And then try to find a land. But uh, we have the Soul Shatter, so yeah, we will see what we get here. From him. And we still have the Extinction Event, so that is still pretty A-OK -okay to me. No need to do anything here. So will it be the uh, Ultimatum? Did he find another land? It does not look like it. Doesn't look like he found another land, so I think here comes the Binding of the Old Gods. Oh, the Cultivate, eh? But yeah, we can still get rid of a lot of his stuff, so I'm not too worried here. Uh, just a little bit, just a little bit. But we have the Soul Shatter and we have the Extinction Event and the Heartless Act, so yeah. We will see. We will freaking see. I think the Binding of the Old God still coming down to the Valky. The Elspeth's Nightmare. Okay, so you will get rid of our Soul Shatter here, which is pretty annoying, but uh, that's just how it is sometimes. Can't always find what you want, and him finding two Elspeth Nightmare in his top 80 cards here, like a real freaking champion. Alright, and we found a freaking land, so yeah. That's just how it is. But we will see here, we will freaking see. He will give us some choices, and uh, yeah, those choices will not be the worst. I mean, he only has one Planeswalker in there, so we can uh, put that back into his hand. And he will absolutely be playing the um, Vorinclex and his uh, Kraken. So yeah, we can har uh, Extinction Event all of those. Those will all be even. So they will be gone. They will just be freaking gone. And even if he steals a land here, don't really care about that. So we need to be wary. Just putting him back the Planeswalker into his hand. Oh man, that game against Alias V? Crazy, crazy that we won that. I mean, she was playing a crazy deck, but still, one of the best players out there. Our uh, Midnight Clock came in pretty clutch. Okay, another Cultivate. So him stealing a land here is not the worst. So, choose a card to be shuffled in your opponent's library, absolutely the Valky. The next turn we can just uh, get rid of everything he has on the board, so I'm not too worried about that. Not too freaking worried about that. We will take two here once more, ramping like a real champion. But uh, yeah, stealing one of our lands? Okay, you can do that. Not too worried about that. For now, this is still looking pretty... Decent. Not like perfect, but a decent. So what can we get here? Another land? Another land, alright. So let's get rid of the board state here. No need to wait. Oh, I should have played the land before, but I didn't. I didn't. That was kind of stupid. So now we still have six lands when he steals our land. So uh, yeah, still pretty a-okay. We aren't going to play anything here anyways, because he will just steal it with the Kiora Best of Sea God. So, hey. Hey. 
And if he has a Warring Klax here, we can still destroy it with the Heartless Act. So, what gives? The Midnight Clock. Alright. So as long as it's the Kiora Best C got out, I don't want to use the Midnight Clock. So he's on 12 lands, we're on 6, so exactly double the mana. And whatever comes down here, another freaking Emergent Ultimatum, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, come on, this is an 80 card deck. An 80 card deck. Nothing but duplicates. This is so unfair. Just freaking unfair. Let me tell you that much. Holy smokes. So, I think he only has one Kiara in there. And if he wants to take another turn, that is fine with me, but we can't let him have the Planeswalkers. Can't let him have it. I think he will be doing the Auron's Epiphany and the um, Warring Klax and the Planeswalker. But he knows about my Heartless Act, so maybe the Warring Klax isn't even coming down. But I would really much appreciate it. The Elspeth's Nightmare. Yeah, that is also fine with me. So he will be playing the Warring Klax first. Because he wants to double trigger on the Elspeth's Nightmare. Place the Elspeth's Nightmare first. Okay, okay. Well, uh, goodbye, Warring Klax. And is we will be losing our Midnight Clock anyways? Do you have a counter spell now? Come on. Seriously, what the heck? Why does he have all the perfect answers? An 80 freaking card deck and he has all the freaking perfect answers. Holy smokes. Well, at least we got that going for us. Now it is top deck wars. And our deck should just be a little bit more, uh, just a smidgen more uh, uh, consistent than his 80 card deck. But yeah, why shouldn't we just draw nothing but lands from now on? Here comes the land. Yep. Didn't I just predict it perfectly? The land. So, he has three cards, we have zero cards. Just sweet. Oh, come on. I told you. I will be drawing nothing but lands from here on out. Nothing but freaking lands. And he has card draw. This is just insane. This is just stupid. I freaking can't believe how consistent an 80 card deck is every single time. Another Roman of the Sea. Yeah, right. Why not? Why shouldn't you have everything two freaking times in your hand? Just... And here's the third Cultivate, by the way. The third freaking Cultivate. In freaking sanity. Well... Say goodbye to your hand. And now it is the real Top Deck Wars. But he has the Omen of the Sea, so he can at least scry, which we can't. Oh, two binding... Do you see what I mean? Do you freaking see what I mean? Oh, and third Omen of the Sea, right? Why the heck not? This is insane. This is just insane. Just freaking insane. And he topped something that he wants. I hate it. Alright, we can't even be playing that. But should we take a look at his hand here? I don't think so. I hope that we can find a red source sooner or later. He stole our only red source, so we can't even be playing the Valky God of Lies here as the Tybalt. The Wolf Willow Haven. Well, now at least we got the side coming. So no matter what he does here, we still have a small chance. I mean, he can be beating us down with the Wolf Willow Haven, but does he really want to do that? We will find out. So do we have anything in there? No, we don't. But now at least we got an answer for the Wolf Willow Haven. So that is still pretty lit. So somebody complained that I called Sushi lit. Sushi is lit. I was playing lit Kakashi with Lit Kakashi, so give me that word. Just give it to me. So, top deck words still going on. We have the side coming. No matter what he does here, we kind of have an answer. Alright, the Ashiok. Does he have another Binding of the Old Gods? Does he really? Or another counter spell? Well, whatever he has here. I'm glad that I could keep my sword common. That is pretty good. Do I want to look at his hand? I don't think so. So. 
Will he find another Elspeth's Nightmare here? He played two already, three already. So, oh, he keeps two on top. I honestly freaking hate that. Honestly freaking hate it. Well, we have the saw it coming here. And we have so many snowlands that even if he does something here... Do you have another freaking counter spell? Don't you dare having another freaking counter spell. Don't you freaking dare. I think it is the omens. I think it is the oh, he doesn't have another counter spell. All right. At least we got that going for us. And now we have another scar raid. That is also pretty sweet. So let's attack in first. Maybe he wants to get rid. Okay, that is pretty sweet. That indeed is pretty sweet. So now we can even draw a card with the scar raid, which is pretty nice. Let's just pray that his last card isn't a counter spell. Because I would really love to draw a card here. I would really love to draw a card here. Maybe it's even Nomen of the Sea. Who knows? It was a Javari disruption. We drew a land. Of course, we drew a freaking land. But let's keep it for now. And he is a lot in exile. Are you serious? This is his third Binding of the Old Freaking Gods. His third. Binding of the Gods. In a sane. Okay, those weren't the best mulligans here. Uh, the best mills. He's crying, alright. Come on. One on top. Hate it. Freaking hate it. So we got rid of his Voring Clags. Usually they only have one. And now we have a frantic inventory, so that is also pretty sweet. So this is looking pretty a-okay because we have the card. Oh, those were nice freaking mills. We will draw here immediately. I really want to find a red source to be able to play my Valky. Another blood on the snow. I don't think that I want to throw away my Valky here. Okay. So if he has creatures, we can take care of those with the blood on the snow. And maybe we even find something good here. Even the rat source would be sweet. Oh, that indeed is something very nice. So I think I want my planeswalker back. I think I want it back. And with this I can just return it. So yeah, that, that, that is fine, that is fine. And destroying all planeswalkers, it's okay to me. So, do you have another freaking counter spell? A disdainful stroke. Are you serious? Are you serious? Now that I finally want to do something. Well, at least we can snack in for two more here. And we will still find something very soon. So, we're on 11 lands here. We drew 12 of our lands. And if we find something here, we still have the Soul Shatter, we still have the uh, Blood on the Snow. So, not too afraid. Not freaking too afraid. He keeps two on top. Two. Okay. Okay. So what do you have here? Fourth. Omen of the Sea. He has only 27 cards left. So the, uh, the possibility that he will find his, uh, his ultimatum are really high. But we have the Soul Shatter. So yeah. We got that going for us. The Extinction Event. Well, that is fine with me. Do your Extinction. Do your extinction. Do we find another land here? Come on, at least be a red land. It is not a red land. But we keep it, just to make him worry. Just to make him freaking worry. So he played a lot of his cards already. Puts two on bottom, so he put away two lands. We will see what he has here. We will just have to see. Oh, freaking finally. So do you think it was a counter spell? Do you think he found... Oh, we lost our only red land and he already has it. Oh, darn it. Come on. Come on. I'm still chilling here. At this rate, we are uh, we will be able to win sooner or later. An Ashiok. Pretty sweet. I take those. Oh, and he doesn't have a counter spell. That is pretty freaking sweet. 
That indeed is pretty sweet. And he had played all of his omens off the sea, so we're looking pretty A-OK -okay here. Can we make the comeback? Was it ever a comeback? It kind of was. Against this deck, it is always a comeback. Now we even found a freaking counter spell. That is uh, so sweet. That indeed is sweet. He kills it. Alright, yeah, do that. I really don't mind. I don't want to use my counter spell on that. Now that we have so many lands... So, what I'm wondering, cast up to 3 spell among uh, from Exile without paying their mana cost. So can I be playing his ultimatum? That is the question that I have here. If he's not able to kill the Ashiok, I will be doing it. I will be trying it out. Because I can always return the Ashiok with the blood on the snow. But casting my own ultimatum here would be pretty freaking sweet. The Shadow's Verdict. Yeah, I really don't mind that. Really don't mind. Now we have a Valky in here. So yeah, let's try this. Let's freaking try this. And now we even have the Saw coming. Alright, let's see what all the spells are. So we get ourselves an Emergent Ultimatum, an Auron's Epiphany, and a Valky. That is pretty sweet! Your deck belongs to me, my friend! It is mine now! So we get the Turgrid. We get uh, the Skull Raid, and we get ourselves a Frantic Inventory, why not? So, what will you be doing, Blueberry? We will see, we will freaking see, but this is freaking insanity. Stealing his deck? So freaking sweet. Oh, boy, I love it. I freaking love it. Your deck is mine now. So first we draw. Well, it doesn't really matter. He will lose his cards, so I'm pretty glad about that. Oh yeah, those were really bad cards. Really bad cards. So let's see what we can steal here. The channel, okay. So we get another Ashiok on the field. This is just so sweet. So freaking sweet. So we still play his land, just out of pure spite. Alright, this is looking pretty A-OK, -okay, because we're taking another turn here. So let's make a small one. Let's see what we get here. The Turgrid, really freaking sweet. I will play it as a Lantern, because I can untap it, make him lose a lot of life. Oh, damn it, I'm so stupid. I untapped it before I even did anything. <sighs> yeah, I was just so excited about all these interactions. Okay, that is kind of good. And now we steal his green land, just because we can. So now we still untap the lantern, and now we still have a counter spell. So he will be losing 3 life here. Alright, this is looking pretty A-OK. -okay. I don't think there is too much he can do because we have the freaking counter spell. Oh boy! There you go! Nothing you can do! We won! We freaking won! Yes! Mm, stealing all of your stuff! That felt so freaking good! Oh! Ashiok, you're a monster! You're a monster you are! Love it! Alright, we're back! Did I promise you too much? I don't think you. We went 4-0 with this deck. Those games went too long that I can't be doing a fifth one, otherwise the video would be like an hour and a half long. But these Cards all together are such a nice freaking package. I love Grixis and I'm so glad that I could have played it. No Nico Bolas for now, but maybe he will be coming back. The good old Dragon Lord, maybe he will come back. And if he does, it will be so sweet. So, if you made it this far, you obviously enjoyed what you've seen and I would appreciate it very much if you could help me reach that next big master of 9 freaking 100 and subscribe to the channel. It is easy, it is free, so why not? Why not? Also, you will find this deck as every single deck on Etherhub. You will find me on my Discord, which you will find in the description down below. And I want to thank Alice V once more for the opportunity to have played her. I know it is random, I know it is just luck that I played her, but it was so much fun. Even if I would have lost, it was still so much freaking fun. 
playing against one of the biggest personalities in MTG history is just so freaking cool to me. So big shout out to her. If you've never heard of her, check her out now immediately. Give her a sub. I mean, she has so many, but one more doesn't hurt. So I'm Matches Malone and I will see you all tomorrow.